I'm gonna have two amazing options I can work with. Imagine having a prompt that could generate any prompt generator for anything, any topic, or any need. If that doesn't make sense, let me explain. A prompt generator is a prompt that generates prompts. But what if you had a prompt generator that generates prompt generators? A game changer. Meaning you tell ChatGPT or Claude what type of prompt generator you want, and like that, you instantly get one. Confused? Well, don't worry, you won't be. When you first use a prompt generator, you simply copy and paste it into ChatGPT. Now, this specific prompt generator will generate prompts for AI images, specifically ultra realistic AI images. And this is great. It's one of my favorites. However, it's just one dimensional, meaning in it only produces AI images. But what if you had one prompt that could generate any prompt generator for any category imaginable for any topic or need that you have like AI images, video, writing, or content. For example, I paste this prompt in right here in the chat GPT, and then I tell it to write a movie script. And then from there, I will instantly receive a prompt generator for writing just that. It's the same way for when I showed you the AI image one a few steps ago. Wait, what? I think this is one of those cases to where you really need to see exactly what I'm talking about. So the first thing we wanna do is think about what we want. We'll start easy with the first one. So how about AI images? So for that, we're gonna head over to my prompt generators database. This database is nothing but prompt generators. So here is the full prompt right here. The first thing we're gonna do is simply go ahead and copy this whole entire thing. And then below is gonna be the follow-up example. I'll show you exactly what this means. To get these incredible prompts databases, click the links in the description. So let's first go ahead and head over to ChatGPT. Once we're in here, simply go ahead and paste the whole entire prompt in. Now, we're not done here yet because we actually need to tell it what sort of prompt generator that we actually do want. So for that, let's go back to my database and use this example right here. Follow-up example, prompt creator that can generate prompts in AI text -to image tools. Copy this portion now. Once I'm back in ChatGPT, there it is fully pasted. So the first portion of the prompt is basically the instructions for ChatGPT. The second portion of the prompt are gonna be the specific instructions you wanna provide ChatGPT or Claude, any LLM, of what type and what specific prompt generator you want it to produce. So since we're doing AI images right now, that is what I specifically said right down here at the bottom. Now to make it easy, I'll add the word my topic right before prompt creator that way it knows this is my specific topic so here is the first part of the instruction below is my specific topic a prompt creator now make sure you do use prompt creator that can generate prompts in AI text to image tools like Midjourney, that's gonna be the example, that will produce ultra cinematic photorealistic Hollywood style movies. Now, you don't have to be that descriptive. You could easily say something just like AI images in tools like Midjourney, Dali, etc. And don't forget, this works the same way for any category, not just AI images. Stick around because the next way I wanna show you is how to do it for actually content writing. In this specific example next, it's gonna be for writing creative movie scripts. So now that we're back in chat GPT, there's our topic. Let's go ahead and generate the whole entire thing. Now watch this. It instantly says, here is a detailed prompt based on your topic. Now look at this. This is what I mean by a prompt generator. Okay. You can see it produces that. I want you to act as a master prompt creator specializing in generating ultra cinematic photo real prompts. Now, if I were to show you what a typical prompt generator looks like, let me show you this as an example over here. Now, for this example, this is one for AI video where I'm basically telling it you're creating prompts that will produce AI video prompts. So after I pasted this one in, you could see it just gives me the final product, the actual prompt. And then this one right here. Now this prompt is for AI images. This is the prompt generator. And you can see after I paste this one in, it just gives me the final product. It generates prompts. It's a prompt generator. So, and it gives me specific prompts for AI images, okay? All different styles right here. Now remember, the one we're working on today is a prompt that generates a prompt generator. And again, that's exactly what it did, okay? So here it is. I want you to act as a master prompt creator specializing in generating ultra cinematic photorealistic prompts. Now you may be asking, this didn't give me any prompts. It's just a lot of details. Correct, you're 100% right. The first portion of it, you're not gonna get prompts. Remember, it's a prompt generator producing 
using a prompt generator. In this next step, you'll see exactly what I mean. So we have our full prompt generator, okay? Now remember, the first one is just the generator that creates the generator. Since we have our full prompt generator now, now you want to go ahead and now copy this whole entire thing right here. Go ahead and now open up a brand new chat, okay? Now, paste this prompt generator in the one that ChatGPT just gave us. Now, this one specifically is now the one that is actually gonna generate the actual prompts for us. In this case, we said AI images, that's gonna generate just that. So there it is, go ahead and now hit that enter button and look, notice the difference. Here is a master crafted cinematic prompt. And just like that, it's gonna give me the scene description, the cinematic elements, the technical details, the color palette, everything that I need in order to get an amazing prompt. But then as I scroll down to the very bottom, it's now gonna give me the final product prompt. Look at that right there, amazing job. Now, as an example, let's go ahead and copy and paste this into an AI image generator. But one more thing to keep in mind. Now look down here at the very bottom. It gave me and it already provided the subject, Dune and Blade Runner 2049. You can customize this by saying generate it again, but now use this subject or change my subject from Blade or Dune Runner and now a different movie or a different style of an image. And I'm simply gonna paste in that prompt right there. There it is in Midjourney. Now let's go head over to FreePick. In FreePick on the left-hand side, I'm now gonna paste this prompt in. Now I'm gonna change my mode and I'm gonna go ahead and do Flux 1.1 generate this one with two images. I'm also going to now turn off the AI prompt on the left hand side and also regenerate it in Mystic. Now back in Midjourney, look how good of a job this actually did. Great job on all four of them. Let's go back to free pick and see what we got over here. These did phenomenally well. I would say free pick did a little bit of a better job. Very detailed, very good looking. And up at the top row, we get all of these as well. Now, if I go back over to chat GPT and I say something else, this time, I want to make sure my prompts really do look a specific way and really have that realistic look, okay? And this time, I'm actually going to add a different subject. So for that, I'm going to head over to my unique keywords database. And the reason I'm in this is because I really want my images to look and stand out like this right here. So I'm going to use a specific keyword, okay? And a specific prompt. The keyword I am going to use is this actual camera lens, Okay, I'm going to go ahead and copy this one and why not just go ahead and copy the whole entire prompt like this. Now head back over to ChatGPT. And again, remember that you can get this database or any other databases I'm sharing via the links in the description in addition to this actual prompt via my website completely for free. So what I said was, let's start the process over with a new topic and please use this camera lens, okay? And there is the actual prompt and lens right here. Let's go ahead and now hit enter. And now it's gonna give us a brand new prompt but now specifically with my new subject and using that specific camera lens for me. First, it goes through all the details, which is gonna be very helpful because it gives you the description of your actual prompt. But then as we scroll to the very bottom, you could see eventually we're gonna get our full and final prompt to use. Okay, now there is our new final prompt. Let's go ahead and copy this one, but now look down here at the bottom. For a more dramatic look, add bold makeup and adjust the lighting emphasize the outfit and more of a natural setting. And now watch this. Let's get even more prompts by saying that. And I just said that at the very bottom, add all of the iteration suggestions and do it again. Now let's go ahead and generate this. While this is thinking, let's go back and see what this new image looks like with that new subject and my new camera lens. And I could just tell right off the bat already, almost complete, this is gonna look amazing. And just like that, look at that, that is incredible. All of these images look fantastic. Now back to free pick. And now look at these. Wow, these are awesome looking. Beautiful job. It really does take that realism to a whole new level when you specifically mention that camera lens. Awesome. Let's go back to ChatGPT. And now here is our new prompt. It changed it up again. And look how cool this is. It even gave us the editorial styles. So now let's copy this one and look at what an amazing job it did because it added that suggestion with that lighting. And here you have it. Look at at this first row. Wow, this is incredible. It gave us a split image, but even this one right here, 
beautifully done. These images do look fantastic. And now, oh wow, look at these ones we got in Free Pick Mystic. This did incredible. It gave us everything that we wanted. Now let's move on to the last but not least thing. Just to show you the flexibility of this actual prompt generator. Here is the next thing that we're gonna say. This time, a prompt creator that can generate prompts to write amazing movie scripts. That way we can stay on the same chat and just like that, it gives us this brand new prompt generator. Here it is. I want you to act as a prompt creator specializing in generating prompts for writing amazing movie scripts. Now remember, when we first use this, it's gonna allow ChatGPT to dictate every subject, theme, and title. But if you do want something specific, make sure you just simply mention that in your prompt. Let's now go ahead and copy this whole entire thing right here. And you can do one of two things. You could copy everything with or without the actual prompt example it's going to give you right here. So it did go ahead and give us an example prompt that we could generate. So let's go ahead and copy this and try this out. Or at the very bottom, it says I can craft a similar prompt with rich details for the following movie concept insert movie concept. Okay, so I'll just quickly show you how this can work. And in this one, I'll go ahead and do this in Claude. So let's go ahead and make believe this was the actual topic that we wanted set in a futuristic mega city. Okay, that looks pretty interesting. We're going to go ahead and paste that prompt that we got into Claude right now. And look at this right away. Claude is going to work. This is incredibly impressive. Okay, so it's going to work on the right hand side. On the left hand side, I have the document. I've written the opening sequence of your screenplay echo chamber. Beautiful. And now down here at the very bottom, would you like me to continue with the next sequence? So it could just keep going over and over again. Over here on the right hand side, here is the full screenplay for that one opening sequence. It even gave us a pretty cool title, Echo Chamber. Beautiful job. Let's go back over here into ChatGPT. And now let's say down here at the bottom, remember, craft a similar prompt with the rich details. And I just said a woman astronaut lost in an interstellar world. Let's see what this can do in ChatGPT. And it's going to go ahead and provide the prompts. And as I scroll down, I'm going to have two amazing options I can work with. We get the full prompt generator. But remember, down at the bottom, it actually gives us a full example prompt that we could use. Okay, here's the first one and on the right hand side here is the second one but let's just say for an example we want to actually try the full prompt generator it gave us so let's go ahead and do that let's copy the whole first generator right here okay we're not going to do the example we already did the example but now this time we're going to open up a new chat paste it in right here and let ChatGPT just simply guide us. And it does the same thing and it just says genre sci-fi here's the setting character blueprint everything that we're looking for, dialogue style, ChatGPT can refine this as far as you would like to go. And so remember, I just gave you two examples, one for AI images, one for writing amazing movie scripts. You can use this for any topic or category that you want or need. If you like this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.